all been around and doing it But now it's my time to shine and start proving it I'm losing it, I'm moving it The city is where I'm made Bostonian flow, I kick it in back day Yeah, I got game, got in a fan way We the city of the champs, every sport we play Spit wetter than the harbor, yeah, I'm flowing like the Charles I be speeding on this beat, call it turnpike miles Yeah, it's Google signing on, John to the Hancock And I'm always key, I'm ready to unlock I be doing big things Welcome back, everyone, to the newest edition of Once a Week. I'm Billy Jan Lutis, and we've come out the gate strong in year six with powerful messages and great guests. And today, we're going to keep that ball rolling. But before we do, if you've missed our recent messages and interviews, go check them out. You might find the exact message that you needed to hear. Or head over to our library of episodes here on YouTube so you see everything that we've brought you over the last six years and then find that message and episode you needed. But guys, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a new episode that's coming at you every single Sunday. Because we want to help you take the steps forward and build yourself so you can live life on your own terms, your way. And with today's message, that's exactly what we want to help you uncover. Because there's a flaw that is becoming more and more common for everyone. And to be completely upfront with you right now and honest, I struggle with this just as much as the next guy. But when we understand how tweaking this one area can adjust your entire day and our entire mindset, we will all wish that we started doing this a lot sooner. And that's setting your intention for your day. Not many of us do this. Setting your intention means that you are setting the focal point to where your mind will focus on throughout the day. That could be your goals. That could be getting the entire to-do list done. That could be bettering yourself in some way or just setting time aside for yourself during the day. And there's so much power to setting this focal point for your mind. Because when we don't do that, and like I said, not many of us do this, but when we don't we essentially are saying to the rest of the world, to our environment, to society, hey, run my mind today. Take it wherever you want to take it. And in today's day and age, that just creates a lot of stress. That creates a lot of problems and causing our emotions to then get out of whack. We need to be the ones directing our minds and directing them to the areas that we want to step into or the experiences we want to enjoy in life. Instead of leaving our mind on autopilot and allowing it to jump to whatever crosses our path at any given moment. Our intentions are a powerful, powerful tool that we constantly have at the ready every single moment of our lives. We actively choosing what we want to focus on and where we want our lives to go. Can you imagine how great that is to have in just the palm of your hand? Because as we've mentioned in many, many once a week messages and in our seminars, your mind is your greatest tool. It can do anything. It can create anything. It can answer any question that you have because it's a supercomputer. But if you aren't the one directing that power, that gift, you are telling everyone else to direct it wherever they want it to go. So to give you the how right now to start, go grab yourself a piece of paper and a pen and write out your intentions for your day, but also the intentions you have for your life. And that looks like, where do you want your life to go? What do you want to experience? Who do you want to meet in your life? And you write that out and depict it. Be specific with yourself. Make that your intention to be whatever you want. We need to tell life where we want to go sometimes. And then allow life, allow God, allow the universe to direct the steps there. And there's scripture backing that. And it's the mind of a man plans his way, but God then directs his steps. That's Proverbs 16.9. There's a gift in you just waiting to come alive and your intentions, setting it in motion, opens the door. Allowing the steps to come as they will and then taking them gets you there in its own time. But then if we don't set those intentions, what happens? 
We leave our power on the table and life becomes what it will. I tell you right now, take that power back. So pause this video now if you need to, but write out those intentions for your life. And if you do this every single morning for the day ahead of you, watch what happens to those days. You begin to become so much more productive. You expedite the process to your goals because you are holding yourself accountable and are stepping into alignment to more of what you want to experience in life. It's powerful, powerful. And you are powerful. But if we never grab that steering wheel of life for that matter and say, hey, turn this way. Let's move in this direction for now on. We run the risk of hitting wall after wall after wall and run the risk of thinking, woe is me. I tell you, take your power back. Decide to say in this moment now, this is my life and this is my intention for it in this moment. You take your life back by taking your mind back. You take your life back by taking your feelings back. And you take your life back by taking action from where you are right now. Set your intentions for this day. Set your intentions for this life and set your absolute intention for who you want to become and then walk in that direction. Life will then listen and life will then get so, so good. Take that. Take the time to see how powerful your intentions are moving forward. If you don't choose to set your intentions for your life, you can be assured that something will. Everyone around you, your environment, social media, society will step in. But you're in control of all of that. Decide for you moving forward and see how powerful you actually are and how powerful your mind truly is. Think about it, guys, and take action on that thought. I'm going to close it right there. <laughs> I thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please like this message on YouTube and hit that thumbs up button below and share this message to someone who you feel needs to hear it. If someone popped in your head, that's your sign that they need to take hold of this intention message. To live with absolute intention. How do you want to live from this point moving forward. That's the message to grasp from this week's video, today's video for that matter. Guys, take it and walk it out. But I thank you so much for being here. If you guys have yet to subscribe to Once a Week, please hit that subscribe button below because as we said at the start of this video, we're coming at you every single Sunday with a new message. And as you can see from the last six straight years, we don't quit because our intention for this entire channel is to help you, and we don't give up on that. So guys, I thank you for being here. And if you or anyone you know is in need of a coach to help in these intentions set today, guys, go to BillyGLifeCoaching.com and set up a free call with me, and I'll be right there for you so I can help you and step in and how you write these intentions out and how you choose to take action on them and then walk them out for yourself to create the life you want to live, but more importantly, to live life on your own terms. Go check it out, guys. If you haven't checked out the link in our description, go take a look at our Mindset Mastery course so you can learn more about these intentions to set for yourself, but also how to unlimit so much more of your mind to help you step into so much more for your life. Guys, I thank you so much for tuning in. I know this message might have come off quick, but I wanted it to because this simple, simple tool of writing your intentions down does not take a lot of time. But when you actually dive into it, spend the time that you have to do so, just as we did for this video, learn what you need to learn, write it out and then walk it out. Oh my goodness, guys, you just walk through a door. Take that and run with it. But I thank you so much for tuning in. Please subscribe if you haven't. And guys, Live with absolute intention. And until next week, see ya.
I've been around and doing it But now it's my time to shine and start proving it I'm losing it, I'm moving it The city is where I'm made Bostonian flow, I kick it in back day Yeah, I got game, got in a fan way We the city of the champs, every sport we play Spit wetter than the harbor, yeah, I'm flowing like the Charles I be speeding on